Hey guys, it's Dalmatia Productions here bringing you guys another video. Now this video is going to be talking about the three worst CEOs of of all time. Now, um, unfortunately my phone did not save the video, so I'm going to try to redo this video as much as possible. So yeah. So the number one worst CEO is Eddie Lampert. Yes, if you guys don't know who Eddie Lampert is, he uh, is the chairman of his own company called Transform Co. Um... He apparently, Sears apparently hired him, and he took control of Sears in 2005, and he eventually then become, became CEO of Sears Holdings in 2013 after Lewis stepped down for personal reasons, and then he apparently started closing about 3,000 plus stores down, including Kmart and Sears stores, and even, and then he eventually got, uh, uh, accused of stealing from the company, and even old Sears, A.K. Sears Holdings, sued him in March of 2019, and then that's when um, Eddie Lapper pretty much stepped down as CEO in October of 2018 after they filed for bankruptcy, after Sears Holdings filed for bankruptcy, and then that's when, um, and then. That's when he pretty much created his own company called uh, New Sears, or otherwise known as Transform Co. And, um, yeah, so, and yeah, he is still continuing closing stores down without a brief explanation of why. Um, so, um, and I, I don't know why this guy keeps getting away with things without being caught. It seems like he's trying to hide it without, uh, hide his embezzlement of the money from these stores. Um, if you guys don't know, he's been embezzling a lot of money from these stores, former Kmart Sears stores. And if you guys don't know, embezzling is illegal to do. So yeah, Eddie Lampert's been illegally embezzling money from these former Kmart Sears stores. He's been illegally embezzling money from these stores. And, um, and yes, you can get arrested for embezzling money, just so you guys know. Um, the second worst CEO is Mickey Monas. So if you guys don't know who Mickey Monas was, he was the CEO of Farmore. I'm pretty sure not many people know what Farmore is. Farmore was a discount store, which later closed around 2002. And the reason that Farmore went out of business was because Mickey Monas, if you guys don't know, uh, he pretty much was stealing from his own company. And he and the other guy were pretty much involved with the stealing from the company and, um, and then he eventually got caught for stealing from his own company, and he pretty much put his own company out of business as well, so, um, so, yeah, so again, he, he got, he eventually got, he and the other guy eventually got caught for stealing, and he embezzled a lot of money from his own company, and then he went to jail for about 19 plus years, so, and then, yeah, Mickey Monas did get fired, he and the other guy got fired, and went to jail for 19 years. And the third worst CEO is Charles Conaway, otherwise known as Chuck Conaway. If you guys don't know who Charles Conaway is, uh, he was the CEO of Kmart many, 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 many years ago. He became CEO of Kmart in April 2000, but April 2000. But a lot of people never liked him. Not many people liked him because he was doing a lot of damage to Kmart in the early 2000s. And, and then, um, he was a later accused for misleading Kmart in the early 2000s because, if you guys don't know, uh, the reason that, uh, he was actually accused for misleading Kmart, and the reason for that was because he was not taking, he was not making the right decisions for Kmart, he was not, he was making, he was making Kmart go the wrong direction, and that's why Kmart became not su successful during his tenure, and not many people liked how... Charles Conaway declared bankruptcy in 2002, and and then that's when he started closing down about 600 of those 1,600 Kmart's, and um, and pretty much he 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 was accused of misleading Kmart because he was, uh, he was not taking he was not making the right decisions for Kmart, and he was not he was taking Kmart in the wrong direction of the company, and. Yeah. I mean, sure, he did try with those blue light specials in the early 2000s, but no, it did not. So, 
Anyways, got anyways guys, it's pretty much gonna be it for this video, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye everybody.